dangerous scenes playing out in nearly every community. Nearly missed the vehicle, slid out of control. In this Glendale police pursuit, officers were after a stolen Kia. Inside the car, seven kids, the youngest, just 12 years old, running from the cops. Police! Stop! I'm releasing the dog! The dog! The dog! The dog! Okay, I'm down, down, down. I got one female in custody. <laughs> The tearful arrest recorded on body camera. Three were caught hiding under a nearby deck. Hands up, you crawl out on your knees. Kids under 16 are caught up in the chaos more than ever. This video caught a 12-year-old boy running from a stolen Kia. Police say he had just crashed. Are we at a crisis level? I mean, is it that bad right now? It is. In an exclusive opportunity, Milwaukee County presiding Children's Court Judge Laura Cravello took us inside her courtroom. What we have is an extreme number of cases. You know, right now our detention facility is at maximum population. When the kids come in here and you're looking right at them, what do you see? Well, sometimes you see your own kids, right? You see your own self and you realize there but for the grace of God go I. But that's what's special about juvenile court is that we have the ability to impact lives. In 2021, Milwaukee police recorded more than 10,000 stolen cars. New data obtained by 12 News from Children's Court shows nearly 600 cases involve children. Sadly, many kids that start out as passengers ultimately graduate to the driver level, and then it gets worse from there. What do you say to the people who say they're underage and they're just going to get a slap on the wrist? It's not accurate. She says courts used to check in on kids every two to three months. Now, in their new accountability program, it's every two to three weeks. Juvenile offenders are also subject to curfews, 24-hour GPS, and therapy. The idea is that we're going to have a constant accountability of the youth and of the team. But with record cases and a full detention center, they're struggling to keep up. What is created is a wait list, which isn't doing any kid any favor. During that Glendale chase, as officers put the teens in cuffs, you can hear one of them laughing. Remember their brain's still forming. Their impulse control at times takes over and they make poor decisions. This ex-prosecutor who took down drug rings and gangs now sees social media driving reckless behavior in kids. It's the hype. It's the adrenaline drive. It's how many likes can you get. Kia boys! It's the Kia boys! The term Kia boys often tagged on posts related to stealing cars and reckless driving, a bragging rights of sorts. It shows a level of lawlessness that's frightening. How do you solve this problem? Oh, I wish I knew. There's a thousand different ways I think that the community and stakeholders are trying to work at that answer. Our community is in horrendous condition. Stakeholder Earl Ingram, a radio host and 540 WAUK, is trying. At the rate we're going now, there won't be any future. Ingram's group of senior black men meets with kids in MPS middle schools weekly to offer guidance and words of wisdom. They haven't heard it from their fathers. Unfortunately, a, a large swath of their fathers are locked up or dead. The only answer to this is getting young people to understand that people love them and that their lives have value. Hey, good morning. Helping children avoid sitting at the defendant's table. In Milwaukee, Hillary Mintz, WISN, 12 News.